Hello there, Kate. This is vlog number five. You know, Kate, I think it actually takes me longer to make a vlog than it does you see, because I have so much more technology. I'm just so willing to use it. I don't really have time to make one today because I have to work tonight and I like borrowed the car from my mom so that I could come home early and start making a vlog that I don't have time to make. I noticed yours are always longer than mine too. Mine are like two and a half minutes and your last one was like five minutes. I don't know how you know. How do you have so much to talk about? Oh wait. The secret door is open. I have someone very important to meet you today, Kate. I think you've already met, but she's just too cute not to put on the internet. Bailey. Look. This is Meili Melo. She's actually the most adorable cat in the whole world. She makes you talk like this. She's so cute. Except I named her a French name, and no one in my family really speaks French, so they'll just call her like Melly. French friends, Meili, Meili Melo. You know, she's so cute. Run along. Also, I wanted to mention that you had much better camera quality today. Good job. You should really feel embarrassed about owning the OC. I, I don't even comprehend that one. Anyway, I have come today to prove to you that I am more obsessed with television than you are. For example, Heroes. This is what I'm currently watching. The Black Donnellys. Such a good show. I don't know why it got cancelled. Lost. Lost. And Lost. Extremely good show. Gilmore Girls. I love this show. Season 2 and 3 are definitely the best because Milo Ventimiglia is in the. He plays Jess. It's pretty much. I want him for my boyfriend. Way less embarrassing than the OC. Dawson's Creek. Season 2. I'm still looking for season 3. I gotta see that one. Randomly, I have season 5 of Angel. It's the only one I own. The Office. One of my favorite quotes from The Office is when they were like, From time to time I send Dwight faxes. From himself. From the future. Alright. Roswell. I own all the seasons of Roswell. I really think you need to see this show. It's so good. A show about teen aliens and their romances. Bones. David Boreanaz. Wonderful. When I saw him in real life, I was like, oh my god, he's more attractive than I thought. <laughs> Veronica Mars. Such a good show. I own all three seasons. It should not have been cancelled. They really need to make a Veronica Mars movie right now. Um, one I own, or I bought, that I haven't watched yet is Firefly. I figured I couldn't really call myself a Whedonite. <sighs> like Joss Whedon is pretty much my idol. And I just thought I should probably see this show then so that I can call myself officially. That I'm a huge fan of his works. I mean, Dr. Horrible is amazing. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, probably the best show ever created. Yeah, that's the show I don't own. But I should own it. I've seen all the episodes like twice some three times. So even so, I still consider myself to be a huge Whedon fan. After all, I am a member on his website, Whedonesque.com. It's not only his website, it's like a fan website, but he writes stuff on it sometimes and he's really cool. He's actually the most hilarious person to listen to ever. I am like in love with him. I saw him at Comic-Con, right? And 
He's just, I just want to sit and listen to him all day. It was wonderful. Another show I really like that I don't own because it's extremely expensive, Doctor Who. Okay, I know we have our issues about Doctor Who, but we need to get over this feud. I like David Tennant. You like Christopher Eccles, whatever his name is, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, okay, the thing is though, I haven't seen series one. So I'm not really the best judge of Christopher Eccleston, Eccleston, how on earth do you say his name? I don't know. But I'm not really a huge fan of Christopher Eccleston, but I haven't seen him in anything. And I just say that David Tennant is better. And you say that Christopher Eccleston is better than David Tennant, but you haven't even seen many episodes with him in it. So, neither of us are a good judge of this, and I think that what needs to happen is I need to watch series one, and you need to watch series two, and then we can compare and contrast our ideas. Okay. <laughs> um, I actually, at the library, they, I put the series one on hold for myself because it was checked out, but yeah, I'm going to watch it. And so you need to go put series 2 on hold because it's checked out. I didn't think they had series 3, but it turns out the Acton branch has it. So you can, like, order it through them if you want. Because Martha Jones is awesome. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday. Or possibly tonight. I don't know if you're going to Alice's house or not.